Ladies and gentlemen, it's 17.18, otherwise known as 5.18 p.m. in the afternoon here. Still on the same date here, which is, of course, this date, which is Saturday the 2nd of October 2021. Coming up to Wellesley Road here in Norfolk. We are in Norfolk, by the way, just in case. I've got to cross the road quickly here. It's a look here. That's why we're going very slowly, so we don't actually end up uh, sort of, I would say, slipping over in the wet. This is Euston Road. Of course, we've got to make the most of this because we may not be back here ever again, but we may do. So it's 50 on that coin, so we don't quite know unless we're told otherwise. So yeah, that's the main seafront of Great Yarmouth over there. Don't think many people are sunbathing today. But uh, yeah, <laughs> anyway, let's go back and get to matters of hand. Uh, yeah, my zoom is a bit sort of tricky here because actually to tell you the truth, of course it's hard to zoom in and out because of the wet weather here. You can see it's a little bit wet. And of course, I thought I'd come here during the daytime for a change and do a slow walk here rather than do too many lives although you might see some of our lives at some stage but yeah we appreciate it whoever tunes in so yeah like i say um this is euston road we did get the taxi earlier for 60 it was in total from the great yarm of railway station and then of course stopping just outside number 16 the rains caught lodge anyway where that kiosk is which i'll show you in just a little bit is actually a road which takes you onto the market gates of great yarmouth and before that is sainsbury's You've got all sorts of hotels here So there you go, people still walking around. And the wind has slightly died down actually, although some people say it's absolutely awful. But the weather experts, according to GB News, or of course, the other stations, ITV, Sky and BBC, they probably say the same thing, that the wet weather is due to move up north. We'll see. The traffic lights say red for now definitely worth checking out this area this is the lion pub here it's not often shown this part of Norfolk and Great Yarmouth 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. the premier as in the kiosk there definitely worth checking out there's some areas down here which I haven't yet checked out myself one day I'll get the chance to do that if we can ever come back again whatever hotel it will be in yeah the wind's getting up now of course this is the main food menu and of course this is the food menu that you can have and it's um 11 45 till 6 30 the food is available for and i want to give a shout out to of course the brilliant owners that have been there for quite some time karen and uh of course, Colin, I remembered both of those names. Serve great meals, I have to say. And this is the drinks menu. Just a quick look at that. <laughs> so, uh, of course, if you want Carling, it's £3.60. Most of them are £3.60, apart from John Smith, £3.40. And uh, £3.70, and Aspel's £3.65. And also Guinness. 370 and real L £3.65 and dark fruit cider £3.65. Hopefully you've got all the gist of that. No one's standing outside unfortunately. They do have a uh, football on. Don't know if you can see the screen there, but there is a screen there. Um, if you can get a space in there because it's actually quite busy at the moment. 
pool table there. It'll be a free pool. Well, <laughs> a free pool table in there. Sorry about the wind, by the way. It is quite windy here. There you go. And that's one of the number two buses there. I'm going to have to shout here because of the wind here. Of course, it comes this way. And of course, they are quite frequent here. And that takes you to the market gates. So 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. the Premier Inn. And we're going to leave it on that note here. And because uh, it's windy, you can see how wet it is and windy at the same time. So do take extra care if you're in a windy and rainy situation, avoid the thunder of that. But I don't think we'll get thunder, we'll probably be more dry than that. It's windy but not too bad. I've actually been in work since lately. And apparently Great Yarmouth is not too far away from Caster, which is the next sort of village on. I think it's a village, Caster. And of course, yeah, it's quite nice to see. There when it's warmer, but we'll leave it on that note. We'll leave you with a lovely view of this area here, and that takes it on to the main, I would say, Pall Mall of Great Yarmouth, and it is Regent Road down in that direction. I'll zoom in just to prove that point. <laughs> 